Welcome back everyone, my name is Chris. Today I'm going to be talking about zeroing your optic foot on the airsoft rifles. The thing with this is because of the sort of inaccuracy of BBs, just you know, a spherical projectile, there's a lot of, I think, interpretation, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is just a way I like to do it and I think it does an okay job of it. Um, end of the day, there's not a lot of point worrying too much about your zero because the airsoft weapons aren't really capable uh, of producing accuracy that is worthy of spending ages getting a dead on zero but especially for CQB where uh, an airsoft weapon will pretty much hit where you aim it um, it's worth having your sight dialed in you know cl fairly close to, to where the actual gun itself is shooting so we're going to go through that today things you're going to need First off, of course, eye protection because BBs can and will bounce back off your target if you hit the, like the hard plastic edge of this, for example, and you don't want to lose an eye. Next, of course, the actual gun you want to zero and the optic fitted securely. If the optic wobbles around either the mount to the gun or the optic to the mount, the whole process is pretty pointless, to be honest. Uh, obviously you'll need a target. I think a nice simple bullseye target like this works pretty well for it. You'll also need a good little uh, marker pen. Put that down by your target and you'll want a, a tool for adjusting the optic if it needs tools to adjust it. Keep that on you. Most optics will have some sort of turrets uh, and screw on covers on those turrets um, for adjusting your zero. In this case this is a primary arms a copy of the Aimpoint T1. It's got these two turrets here and here which require the screwdriver to adjust and much like when you're doing the tire pressures on your car, those little black plastic caps that you take off, you know, you always want to be sure you you know look after them right. Same thing with these. Take these off, just leave them like indoors or something, you don't want to lose them. Okay, so we've already got our target set up. Now I, I think a good distance to zero an airsoft optic, certainly a red dot, is around 10, maybe 15 meters probably closer to 10 if I'm honest. Anything more than that, that these, these weapons are just not capable of uh, producing the accuracy necessary uh, to get any sort of a zero. So once you've got your target, you've got what, your pen, your adjustment tool, your optic secure, all that good stuff, take a position up about 10 to 15 meters away. Um, certainly for, for a red dot, maybe further if you've got a magnified optic. Um, you know, for like bolt action rifles and stuff, you're a bit further away again. Um, maybe up, getting up to like 20, 25, but again, not much more than that. That that would be pushing it, to be honest. So yeah, set up in the prone position, uh, about that distance away. Uh, we'll be quickly for that now. Okay, so one thing I did forget to mention is that at this point, you're going to want to make sure your hop up is set. Uh, that's something obviously you don't have to worry about with an actual firearm, but if you zero your optic and then change your hop setting you've literally completely wasted your time so get um get the bbs flying as straight and level as you can um for as far as you can then leave it and then come onto this process so i've done that already uh, at this point we're about 10 meters from the target that i showed you before so we've already got a bb in the hop unit at this point, this is when you've got to do your job properly. You've got to put in, um, do your part, as it were, because luckily with an airsoft gun, there's pretty much no recoil, even though this is a gas blowback weapon and it obviously, compared to an AEG, it has a fair bit, but it's still not too bad. However, um, you do want to make sure you are, like I say, doing your part and actually keeping the gun as steady as you physically can. So get nice and flat, as much contact between your body the gun and the ground as you can physically manage so splay your feet wide get your feet um, nice and flat on the floor get your elbows on the ground get as much of your chest on the ground as you can get the magazine on the ground in this case when they are and then switch on your optic and I'm going to take three shots Now, head down to the target and we'll see what we've done. All right, so I came down and I noticed we had uh, a couple
couple here to start with and then we had one way up here so what I did was I moved closer I took a couple more shots which are these two so just um, just bear in mind guys you know you, you never you never quite know the the real exact ac accuracy uh, of your weapon um, until you actually try this so you know you might have to move closer to the target basically uh, we'll adjust the optic uh, adjust our point of impact up uh, a couple of clicks take a couple more shots you know uh, you can do one you can do two do three whatever um, probably best to stick to certainly not more than three one or two is all good and yeah then back to the gun where well obviously before we go back to shooting cross off these hits so next uh, volley of fire we know which ones we've already uh, shot and which are the new ones uh, after the adjustments and uh, yeah uh, keep doing that until we get it right so let's go back to shooting you know it's just a process of going back and forth shooting target shooting target and, and you know just see how it goes each time so I've adjusted the dot up a couple of clicks I might have gone too much um, this is my first time zeroing this optic so take a couple more shots and we'll see what happens Okay, so with this sort of thing guys it's all about groupings so our grouping now with those two is those two shots so the center of it is around where that old shot was uh, so it has the whole grouping overall compared to those three it has adjusted up but definitely going to need to move it up further to get it more towards the center of the bull so again mark up those hits and uh, make some more adjustments and take some more shots I got pretty close to the ball with the, that last string of fire, this last pair of shots, so just a few more adjustments. Try that, let's see how we do this time. So we started off mostly down here in this sort of area and we moved, we've moved up gradually, up, up, up. Now we're a bit to the left. Um, so I will make a very, that could just be my shooting, um, not, you know, rushing it. Uh, it could be the gun. I'll make a slight adjustment to the right. Uh, I'm not going to change the height at this point. We'll see how we do with that. So now we've just hit here and here, which means without any height adjustment we've gone up, which means it's either the the inaccuracy of the airsoft gun or it's my shooting. Um, but as you can see, we got a shot right in there. Uh, be more precise, it's just here, the actual center of the impact. So uh, I'm gonna call that close enough for government work. If you were doing like a, a magnified optic, like a sniper type scope that, that has um, securing nuts and bolts on the on the turrets, tighten them down. Uh, in my case, I'm just gonna reattach the little turret covers and uh, we'll say that's about, for, for, a, for an airsoft gun, that's about as good as it's gonna get. So there we have it, that's our zeroed optic. So uh, thanks for watching guys. For, for more similar videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thank you to all the previous subscribers, all the guys hitting the thumbs up and shares and stuff like that. Uh, there will be links to the Facebook and the Twitter and stuff down in the description box below. Got daily updates on there. Uh, thanks again, everyone. See you next time.